hey guys welcome back so in this video i will be showing you how to receive data via uart on an stm32 via polling method so let us let's get started so uh, we can enable any kind of a peripheral like uart 1 2 3 4 or anything like you just need to know the pin number of which uh, uart you are going to enable so i'm going to enable the uart 1 and uh, like obviously like asynchronous mode we are not using any clocks here so you can see a9 and a10 mine is l4768 microcontroller so similarly uh, i mean i'm using a you know the nucleo development board so download your uh, development boards uh, i mean user manual if you are using a blue pill i mean uh, download the schematics of this nothing just to make sure that you have an idea of what is the pin mapping i mean uh, gpio you going to you know map it to that usb 2 ttl controller so in this video you will be needing a usb 2 ttl and an stm32 development board so that's it so we have now you know a9 and a10 as like rx and uh, tx so i mean in our previous video what i have shown is like rx uh, will go to the tx of the um, usb 2 ttl and the tx of the microcontroller will go to the rx of the you know so here we just need to receive so only rx is needed basically so i hope you are like familiar with the connections right now so let's get started uh, previously we have seen hal you are transmit so anyway in this we will be seeing hal you are receive so we just have to you know put up the uart handle which will be auto generated within the code and we need to put the buffer um you know to which the data will be collected and the size of the data we want to collect and timeout so this will be polling method and our you know the microcontroller will be in blocked state uh, to collect the data waiting for the data this is not an efficient way to you know get the data via uart but uh, yes i mean we should be familiar with everything so i'm just doing it up so just let's generate the code yeah so the code is generated so as i have seen we can use this hal uart receive api to receive the you know the uart buffer in the block state so i'm just gonna type it up hal uart okay if i type it should pop up sorry this is not the one this is to id it's a different api yep so we have to you know give up the buffer so that it, it will get filled when the data arrives at the uart buffer so i'm just giving it as data uh, if we are going to you know receive a lot of data like more than one data it's better that we give a uh, an integer array like let's give like 10 and uh, size okay so i mean right now i just need like uh, five i mean that's your wish actually basically so time out how much time you want our you know microcontroller to put in a block mode waiting for the data to get received how what is the time out you want to give for so i'm just giving it up 100 millisecond so how much you are giving uh, that much time our microcontroller will be waiting for this particular buffer or data to get arrived and it will not be doing the other task you are going to list down in the super loop so that's that and you can also write the like, if condition if you go into the you can see how you have to receive so that is a particular status so the return type actually make us understand whether the data got received or not or it went to a timeout so you can see the hal status type def so hal okay so if we are getting uh, i mean if our function is returning an hal okay which means we received a data and we can do a particular action so that will be our application rest like any of the things comes up i mean it doesn't matter to us as of now so that's that hal okay so if you are receiving hal okay then so i mean rest is actually uh, your work you can execute whatever you want so in my thing i'm gonna just uh, reset the buffer mem set okay which is buffer data yeah i will make the initialize the values to zero 
so I'm getting the data up to five data so that's that and uh, yep so let us just run the code by putting up the breakpoint and let us see whether the data we are I mean are we receiving it or not okay so I'm running the code in debug mode let us put up the breakpoint before the while loop once and uh, when we receive the data and when we reset the buffer yep okay so here itself the breakpoint had come we can see in the device manager whether our I mean it got initialized as COM port I have already connected the you know the COM port as per the configurations So it's COM port 5, same as previous. So let's take the real term. You can even uh, do it via putty as well. Yep. So that's that. Port number 5. Board rate will be 115200. Open the port. Yep now we can basically send the data so now i am putting a breakpoint as well here yep i am releasing the breakpoint from the while loop so yeah whenever i you know run whenever i send a data it should hit the breakpoint i mean if i send a 5 data now uh, 5 bytes of data yeah you can see it got hit there so now if i you know go into the code or like uh, execute the next step of the debugging uh, this will erase the data so we just can see what is the data so it's basically my name itself like stijo stij data of five so if i go into like yeah and if i see the data i mean it's not i mean it got reset so that's that now we will try to you know just um, transmit back the data what we are going to you know what we uh, receive so that's that uh, Ryan Smith. So this we have seen just before. I mean, the, in the previous tutorial, how to transmit the data back. Sorry, my bad. How you are transmit? File. In how much time you want to print it out? What is the least time you want to print it out? Yep. So now if I'm sending the data, it should give, back the, give me back the data. So I'm just writing it for fun. I mean, you can, you know, do anything like maybe a blink and LED based on the data you are getting. For example, if you are getting some uh, L01 data, then go for blinking and LED. Or if you are getting S01, you can connect a servo motor and run it off. So that's that. Here I am, you know, sending the data again. You can see uh, my name is getting printed out. So the STM32 is receiving my name and uh, as per the HAL you are transmit when it is uh, you know successfully received it is uh, transmitting the data to the uh, to the USB 2 TTL and indeed it is received in our PC. So that's that but uh, I mean I don't recommend uh, you know receiving the data in a polling mode because it actually you know utilizes the most of the time of our processor and our rest of our task will be keep starving. So this 100 millisecond I am giving up. Uh, I mean the, our processor will be waiting for 100 millis every 100 milliseconds waiting for the you know the particular data to be available so indeed if we have any mission critical things have going to happen in the you know other task like our you know system is going to be a failure for waiting for 100 millisecond so the best way to is to automate it via an interrupt so that you don't have to wait much time in like waiting for the buffer so that's that I will be explaining the buffer concept I mean the interrupt concept in the next videos so that's that for today thank you